that sort of thing, as you know. <laughs> I feel a bit like a robot, I don't know what <laughs> I don't hear a difference, do you? <laughs> <laughs> First thing is I'm I'm a local, you know, and it is wonderful to have so many young people here. Not only just here, but in the whole surrounding. You must excuse some of my English, perhaps. It is a, it seems to be good, but I have only a few words. I will sometimes ask in Swedish or German, what is this or also that? Yeah. I don't know uh, if there is on the Table. What should this? What is this about this uh, lecture? On the <laughs> I really don't know. Is there, is there again something about playfulness or not? I saw all, all, all there were titles of all things, but I didn't look at this title. Is it the title or not? <laughs> I think you can just I make a title. Huh? You can just make a title. <laughs> I heard this question about the school, about uh, intuitive pedagogy, and uh, my own. I want to talk about me and you, of course. And uh, that will be about the same, all these things, I will try. Um, when I was as young as most of you, you are not born. I'm 76. <laughs> and when you will be as old as I am, I will be unborn. You know. <laughs> but we will be together, especially when we are not here. We are together. I, I will tell a lot of things very uh, rapid, so like this. Uh, be, be observant, it would be a bit like... <laughs> uh, and when there are contradictions in some way about anthroposophy or what you know or not know, what you, and then ask, just into now, you can ask anytime when I'm talking, stop me and ask. It's better for me too. I would like to go on and afterwards remember again. <laughs> and, uh, the word intuition, intuitive pedagogy, is of course a very pretentious uh, concept. It, it is quite clear that it is not about uh, intuition in, uh, in all their language. I do something, I don't know why, but it fits. It's, that's not what I talk about when we talk about intuitive pedagogy. It's a little bit more connected with a, with a difficult thing. You know, that some of you know that in the spiritual world, uh, you can you talk about thinking, about feeling, about will. And, uh, the, the deepest level of, of uh, exercising is just the will. And that is about intuition. And of course, we don't think people who go to this schooling, or this education in intuitive pedagogy, after that they are clairvoyant or something. And, no, not at all. <laughs> but uh, what it is when everyone sometimes discover that what they do is just, just right. That is, uh, then intuition was there. We normally not know, we don't feel, now I need intuition to try to do. That could never be intuition, if we think we can feel something special or have a kind of, uh, now I, I try this, and that is an intuition. No, never. We don't know. You cannot know. If you can exercise, so that that happens more and more, that things are in order. 
not comfortable, I don't say things are comfortable, it's the opposite. Intuition leads us very often to things we didn't uh, expect at all. And mostly such things are uncomfortable. Most good things are uncomfortable. You know it afterwards. Uh, therefore, uh, many uh, exercises in this intuitive schooling is um, just about the body and about what you are, this you have here. You know all, you are, you are no one say uh, to this, me. No, you are all saying my body, all language. Uh, I think there is no culture on earth, they ever said me and men, their body. And that's interesting that we have, if we talk about this, we say my body, my legs, my, my body. And when I say me, I mean something else, of course. And that is always double, everything is like that. This me is of course important, much more important than this my body. But that's also the opposite. Nothing is older and more precise, constructed than, than our body. It is a remarkable thing, much more developed than anything higher or more spiritual. Our spiritual being is very small, very tiny, very like a baby. But our body is not a baby. It's a very wise uh, thing. And we have to take care of it. And when we go into this very wise thing and try to understand what it tells, how it reacts, what it is like. That is an interesting thing, just because a kind of a baby shall try to be a master of this very old thing. That is, it's good to think about that. It's a very interesting thing to take care of. A baby shall take care of something very wise and wise. Uh, I feel when I now said I will talk about me and about you, it's, it's, I feel very happy about it, but also very uncomfortable. <coughs> and not uncomfortable because I want to be young again or like that. I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel a, a difference, an interesting difference. So many things happened between my childhood and now, and also between your childhood and my childhood. So very many things. The whole world is changed, and I really don't know. I, 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 I don't know who you are. I, I try. But then, uh -huh, no, they are not like me. When I was young, this thing, no, my, this uh, mobile, for instance. You can imagine, I, we, was, we were traveling somewhere. Eight hours was no problem. Uh, Twelve hours traveling, I couldn't have contact with anyone. What impossible, where no telephone or something, and a letter takes a week, perhaps. And now, most of you feel a bit uh, funny if you have eight, twelve hours. No contact is possible. For me, it's difficult to understand how it feels. But that is natural to always to have this thing. And can you do it? And then <laughs> <laughs> you have, as I was, I had to. We had to plan very exactly, or or take it like it is. Something will happen then. Okay. <laughs> or, uh, I am grown up without television. You know. I never sat like this and looked at everything. <laughs> <laughs> and you all did that. And that's also an enormous difference. I don't really know what it means. I don't work so.
intuitive uh, pedagogy has to do with uh, the will life. Um, and that is intuitive because there is something I know about your situation, what is different to my situation. And for me it is a bit different because I know so much about it. But uh, my generation, and uh, especially the generations before, they, there was uh, uh, the thinking, thought and the feelings were leading ideas of how to do. Now, more and more, will is leading how to do. That doesn't necessarily mean I do first and then think, but it is really also like that. That is not very bad, but it is very interesting and very different when I first I do and then I know. <coughs> Earlier it was first I think, I try to know first and then I do. And that's an enormous difference. And I think the future will be more and more like this. Do. And then, no. And that doesn't mean uh, <coughs> I kind of I do anything and then maybe. No, not at all. We have to have enormous more uh, consciousness about things, what they are like. Just because of that. If we want or not, that will be like that. Our deeds will be. Not our thoughts. We can think a lot. No ideas about how it is will not work at all. Only what we are doing is working. In the in the anthropology that is uh, the name, Michael, Michael, that's the power that is always saying, go on, don't stop, go back and then we do it better. No, go on, make it better through going on. It's very important. No stop, do it better. Go on, do the work in good, through doing, on, 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 on. It will work. That's the only possibility. More and more it will be like that. In, uh, in our school, these things are very important. We discovered that on time we saw that children who didn't feel enough comfortable in their bodies. This this me and their uh, physical life, not only the body, also the life. When that is not comfortable enough, uh, they they only was their bodies was in school, nothing else. <laughs> they were not in school at all. And it has no use to have people in a classroom or somewhere and they are not there. And they are only sitting there. And I'm telling <coughs> them and I force them to answer and they write things, perhaps good things. And it's all everything in order. That's useless. And we, in my generation, I don't know how it is with you. I, I, I travel around and see lots of schools. I think it is not, it didn't change totally. But in my generation, people, most people sat in the school like this, without feeling well at all. If you know or not, that's not interesting. If you know if you are well or not. But you are not there. You are only sitting there, listening, doing what you shall do, and Afterwards, there's nothing there. It's a kind of, it creates no real, you don't really afterwards believe in, in communication, you know, in relationships. That's, I think, the most, the most uh, basic need we have. Not food and sex and all good things. <laughs> <laughs> but just, but just uh, relationship, communication, the basic, you know, uh, 
that the in earlier time uh, it was much easier to kill people when they were wrong. You didn't like someone. <laughs> and uh, also the stuff was the punishment. Yeah, punishment. Yeah. 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 Was uh, dead, but worse than that was to be um, uh, thrown out of society to go away or to say he is weak, we had a, a kind of punishment but you may not talk with him anymore or with her, may, mostly him. You may not talk with him anymore. That meant the person would kill himself nearly always because when no one will talk to me anymore, then I have no life. And in earlier time, this verweisen, so jemand zu verweisen, that means get out of the country, go away, don't, never come back. That means you are dead. It's a very basic need from each other. And you can, uh, you can. I, I have a question about that. What is this? Uh, how shall computers and, and mobiles, how shall they be, how shall we work with them that they do it possible to go on and to let communication grow and not opposite? You can do as if you are communication, in communication, but you are not. But I don't think it is wrong, I think it is a new possibility. <coughs> you know all this war between Russia and the East and the here, West, it fall because of internet. It was just because of that. Without the internet, it would still be there. And lots of interesting things happen. And that's because communicational things like the uh, internet, <coughs> There's a deeply female power. All information can go anyhow. It's very difficult to stop it. It will be more and more. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are able to do that. That's the feeling I have also with you. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm used to be with school children and young people in school, but you are just not, most of you are not school children, and that makes it very different. And the feeling of, and the unsure feeling, what is that? What are you doing? Who are you really? <laughs> That is impossible. I feel it's really impossible, and I like that it is impossible. But what is it? Like? <laughs> this is uh, this is very interesting. You, I will I will um, I will not talk longer. Much longer. I have a, I also a serious thing about consciousness and what is just now we do. I know it, but I can take it from a more simple way, that where 300 young people are together, are also drugs together. That is a, that is a social problem. It is real. It is a fact. But that's not interesting. It is interesting to, that we know about it and try to have this knowledge and not to take it away, not together, but that everyone have this knowledge and know about it and carry it really. That is consciousness. That we don't put things under the, what is it called? Carpet. 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 <laughs> <laughs> there. I must not do things. That's an, another level. But I shall know about it, not do as if it is not important. It has a deep importance because it, all I, when I say drugs, I mean also coffee and also cigarettes, of course. But I talk about just substances, not about uh, 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 lots of people who say find a lot of other higher uh, types of. Uh, you are also. Uh, of you, you have something, you, you like to do this and this too much. I don't talk about such things, only about substances. That's interesting. And therefore, think over, is it a clear thing that you have to carry that? That that is a social life, in life, always, these things. There are not uh, many things that are natural or what did uh, a friend of mine in Ukraine was Geo Kulewin. Kulewin is a title of one of his books is From From Normal zum Gesunden, From Normal to Healthy. That's a good a good title. From normal to healthy. That's interesting. And this to be conscious about as much as possible. You know, what makes us uh, helpless is when we have conflicts in ourselves. We sometimes don't know about them. You have, uh, I think, less conflicts than I have. Because on uh, these seven to seven years. But the more we don't, we are not conscious about our conflict. You know a conflict that is really when you drive and move the gas and the brake at the same time. In a car you would never do that. But in life we do that very much. That's why nothing happens. And that is really that. That's why nothing happens. We all want things and, and hope for things and there are lots of things that Work. Because of this, we are working like someone who moves the gas and the brake at the same time. And that creates this, what I call conflict. And we must not know and solve all of it. We know it all. When we know our conflict, then a lot of energy is again on the, on the surface that we can do something at all. You <laughs> <laughs> uh, must talk very loud because I, I must say I am a musician, but I hear nearly nothing. <laughs> what do you mean by knowing? Hmm? 
knowing about the conflict. What do you mean? Uh, that is, uh, I think the word is consciousness, that we try to know, not to say, um, to say, ah. So it's here. Go on. No. Stay. It is like this. I know about it. It is not something I can, and then go on. It's easy to go on. It is not easy to go on. It comes afterwards, more and more. I have a, a train after me to, to, and I don't feel it. I feel perhaps very, very easy, but it is a long, 12 wagons, <laughs> like this. <laughs> and I feel well because they are there and not there. <laughs> Could you say something more about how intuitive pedagogics work? You mean it work? Uh, what is the result? No, no. How do you do it? What is? Yeah, I, I already said something about it. Uh, lots of physical exercises. Lots of discovering how you are doing. Some of you was in the course where we did some of these things. Mostly, it is about. Uh, just conflicts. You, if you do, if you do like this, you are not in conflict with yourself. You can see I do. I imitate my arms with my feet, or opposite. But when I do like this, I do something else. If 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 we were on the floor now, a big floor, I would say, try. You can. What you can do now, sitting, and to discover what is going on. If, if you do like this with your feet and with your hands. And then try to tell yourself a very, a very uh, fast and, and like a decision. Do it and discover what happens, what's going on in here. When I try to do not the same with the feet and the head, but just I go over the middle almost together again, and then the opposite. And so and then try to do just the opposite with your hands and feet. Really like this, like this. What happened when you were? Otherwise, no real concept. 
thing. What really happens is when I do, and then I need intuition, perhaps I don't have, then it works sometimes wrong. Half of things we do are wrong. That's good to know. If we think that's better than that, then we have a conflict. We will have. If we think most things I do, if I'm really careful, will be good, then it is, uh, that's like, it's not good. That creates conflict. No. No. Yes. No. So you basically say that we should believe that what we will do will be good, or I mean, I didn't understand the last two sentences were really interesting, but I didn't actually get them. No. <coughs> if I if I believe that what I do is right, then it's already this whole thing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, and then that's something you know about it, but it is so interesting because. It doesn't feel like knowledge. You know what it is when I do out of my will. That is that doesn't mean I, I do what I wish always. No, no. Also I can do that. Always. I will be corrected immediately, more or less. And that's not bad. It's only a fact. I should I, I, you will discover that you are doing things and and they work, or they don't work. It's intuition, also when it's not works. The power to do, you see, that is, has to do with intuition. And when you are uh, sick in your will life, when there is damage in some way, and that's a lot today, it's not easy not to be damaged in the will, then these things are not, are not working. You have ideas, or you want something, or you... Place there. I, I, if I think like that, then I need to look like this. A glass of water here on the table. And I have to talk with someone. And shall I take it or not? No, I take it or I don't take it. You know, this, this between is <laughs> unhealthy. Very unhealthy. And be observant. Look at that. When you are, when things are, you want a step, only a little step. I, I want to do like this, but I don't. You can see, but my foot won't. <laughs> if I stay here, already I am I'm doing something against my will substance, then I must do like this. Or I, or I want to stop now, and then I should say I want to stop now. Please don't ask more. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you can ask. <laughs> Are you the one 
who saw the thing happen? Or are you the one who did? Are you the mouse who did wrong and right and right and wrong and wrong and wrong and right and right? Or are you the consciousness that could see what the mouse did? Who, who do you identify with? We should all like to identify with the one who can say, I did like this. Now it is so with me. Not this one who only do. do, do, do. That's it. We know a lot, all of us. I just want to understand a little more about this indecision that you're talking about. Should I tell you your mom or not? What did she say? Intuition. Indecision. 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 Just to decide. But to understand where is it originating, because I'm, I'm just not sure is that where is the unhealthiness? Is it mm -hmm. the I did, uh, just this with decisions is one of the, I think, uh, that is such a, a point, perhaps the point, because uh, a friend of mine who knew a lot spoke about the worst sign. Uh, what is the worst sign? Consciousness. Consciousness. About, uh, and try then this the worst sign. That means. Uh, consciousness that decides always and that if 100% would be the best always decide you see and that is very close to when Steiner's uh, uh, concept of um, what does he call it uh, about freedom uh, uh, individual I'm so in English now, I lost my German words as well. Mm. <laughs> the Begriff von individuelle, individuelle Freiheit ist, dass das verpflichtet. Ich müsste eigentlich tun, wenn ich will. Wenn ich meine Großmutter umgehen will, dann müsste ich sie umbringen und dann die Folgen auf mich nehmen. That was German. Manchmal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this thing should, we, we should have it on the inside. 
Let's should not be on the outside that other people can do all the going back. <laughs>